Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Pertuni in for the first time. And today we're gonna do a B part lace wig. So this probably is one of the most natural looks you've ever seen on me. And to be honest, this one is situates, accentuates my beauty so much because you see my natural forehead, my natural hairline. I have leave out here. It definitely gives like sew in or tape in vibes, but it is a U part. So it literally is a five minute install. Um, I just literally took leave out, put the rest of my hair back attached the wig and we kind of did straighten it out a little bit and just bump the ends not too much not too crazy a lot of us don't want to deal with the lace on a day-to-day -day basis and honestly when you're out with your significant other they sometimes tend to prefer the big forehead and the 4b 4c hair opposed to the lace and the grid so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my natural hair looks like and give you an update on that i'm also going to give you a little bit of a lit check and we're gonna do this install together i have a little one knocking at the door so so let's go ahead and jump right into the video i fell in love with ashley down in miami we got nasty i'm not ashamed i'm not ashamed Jumping right into it, this is my natural hair straight off the bat. I had two cornrows in and they've been in for a while. My hair is due for some TLC. As you guys can see, I'm due for a nice deep condition, a haircut, all of the above. But this is a current length check of where my hair is. And this is the beauty that we're going to be installing today. This one comes courtesy of Eunice. This is a long bob V-part wig. It's 14 inches in length. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap and they do have you covered with like a bunch of clips and wig combs so that way the wig can fit nice and secure. So let's set the wig aside and prep my natural hair. I'm going to go ahead and just carve out or part out a V shape of my natural hair and just twist it so that it's out of the way and then I braided the remainder of my hair so that I can go ahead and put that out of the way as well. As I mentioned, my hair is in desperate need of some TLC. I'm thinking about finding a good natural stylist in my area, which has been hard to help me to just recover my hair because it's just literally been, I don't know, I can't even tell you. But anyways, let's go ahead and install the wig. As I mentioned, this is a V part and it does have lots of combs on it. So I did put um, the wig cap on the back of my head um, just to kind of secure and... Um, protect my natural hair against like the combs and stuff now i'm going to gently put the wig on and i'm just trying it on for size and trying to figure out how to make it fit snug this wig does come in a size small or a medium i recommend that you get the size that's best for you so that the actual wig will fit snug as i mentioned this one is 14 inches in length um it does come in a 10 inch a 12 inch and a 14 so this is the longest length offered in this style I'm going to go ahead and style it myself. Obviously, because it's a V part, the easiest and most traditional way to wear it is that it's a center part. So I'm just taking small sections of the hair and I am going in and just giving myself a nice press. My ends are in desperate need of a good, good cut. So don't be alarmed about that. But I'm just taking my time and making sure that the hair is nice and straight so that it blends. Blending is key when it comes to V part as well as U part wigs or any kind of style where you have leave out against like natural, straight, or silky hair. This would be best on fresh hair. My hair has been in cornrows for maybe almost two weeks now. So um, I definitely think that if I would have given myself a fresh wash and blow out before this video, it would have done wonders to make the hair blend. I do think it blends amazing. Typically, I would keep a black hair dye on my hair, but I haven't dyed my hair probably in almost two years so the natural lightness of my hair is coming out but I am going to be dyeing it back black so that it just looks more healthy and shiny and maybe even a little bit fuller next I'm going to go in and just bump the ends of the hair I just think this helps to make the hair um, blend with my hair it kind of just clumps the hair my hair and the um, wig hair together so that you don't have those straight flyaways of natural hair and also it just makes the hair look nice and full and healthy of course these curls will drop eventually but you know this is just what I'm used to and what I like and this is the look okay love bugs so we are done with the look and i think that by far this was the best v part wig install that i've done to date now you guys already know i got a big forehead can't do nothing about that 
a lot of us do have big foreheads and I feel like if we just all cancel wigs we would be good or if we let go of the lace fronts and went back to sew-ins and stuff like that it would just be back to normal where everybody had a big forehead or most of us had a big forehead uh but yeah when you see yourself with lace frontals and all these other things that we use and then you go back to your natural hairline it's like whoa that forehead is big anyways so let me tell you what i did different with this v part wig than i've done with others that makes me like this install more um you guys know i have thinner hair in the hairline and it's a lot or in general i have thinner hair and it's fine and that's just my whole head in general it's like if i wear my hair in an afro it can get really big because my hair is long but it's see-through and it's like you go back to you know pictures and videos of me when i was five years old ten years old like i've always had thin fine hair it's hereditary my mom had thin fine hair as well even though her hair was even better texture than mine and she didn't have a big forehead but that's neither here or there so when it comes to wearing u parts and v parts i feel like i don't utilize them as much as i wish i could because to me if i can just do a little bit of leave out mix it in with some curly hair or even like straight hair like so this looks a lot more natural so pta wedding vibes i probably wouldn't do this look for like the beach or vacation but this is like switch up because sometimes the lace you get sick of like lace 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 and that's when we take a break and we do like braids or um different styles with our natural hair and i really love this one this one gives age appropriate it gives grown and sexy it gives date night and to be honest this is kind of like what a lot of men prefer over like the frontals they kind of like to see that little nappy hair in the front they you know they want to see that full c that full b full a or whatever you have opposed to seeing like the lace grids and all of that so this is a great option but as i was saying because you guys know i talk in circles um where i've gone wrong in the past which i still want to conquer those two but because my hair is thin and fine trying to make my hair blend with a 26 24 30 inch 200 percent density wig no matter how or what the texture is just it's not gonna blend even though my hair is long so with this one it's a lot more of a natural length my actual hair is actually longer than this this is how long the hair is and you guys see my hair goes about here when stretched but um of course in the front the hair is shorter or my hair is shorter but this just gives a natural vibe it kind of makes it so that my hair matches and blends with this hair as far as like the density and um not being too overpowering the wig is not heavy it cuffs my head and fits like a glove all the way around and it just doesn't feel like i'm gonna pull on it like you guys can see like if i tug on it i only have the two clips right here attached i didn't like use the combs or anything else and like you get a little tug or a little snatch going you know you got to brush your hair back out but it's not gonna slip and slide or move around and again it's easy to control it feels comfortable in my hair blends now something that i used to do that i just don't have the time lately but i need to do is keeping my hair dyed jet black typically that'll make my hair look fuller um and just even more healthy and so you guys can see the color you can see the difference in my hair but it's like when it gets old it's gonna blend even more and of course this one came from eunice as i mentioned with the wig they did give us a pack of wig caps they did give us this really nice wig brush, which outside of my Denman brush, I've been needing one. And it does say Eunice right here. Super pretty. This is like my one of my favorite colors. Oh, we got some bougie goodies. So this here are, I think these are clip-ins. Yeah, you see the clip in the back. And on this side, they're sparkly. Um, Someone on YouTube, Paris Danielle, I think it was, Halloween she did like a really nice I didn't I don't know what she used but she had like a sparkly hair similar to this like throughout her hair I've seen it on Instagram and she looks really cute with that so this is a fun way to do that without having to like dye the hair really like that and then here we have a nice gift it is a heart and it has 
like a leather pink vibe with the logo in it and then when you oh okay when you open it up it's a mirror and i was just telling myself i i've been saying it but i don't have a good purse mirror so this is really nice it says their name and stuff on this side and it's a mirror on this side and it um also it's like a keychain yeah and then it comes with this cover on it so this is perfect in just enough size to kind of like touch up and powder your face do your lips and it's compact enough to go in your purse actually i'm gonna put this in my purse because i don't have a mirror and then last but not least they gave us this really nice jewelry box and inside you have it looks like a ring oh so they gave me one last time they gave me silver and this one here is the same, it looks like this is the same ring and it is very much adjustable. You see you can pull this apart if your fingers are wider than mine. And on this side it has their logo, the Eunice logo. The difference between this one and the other is this one is gold with the diamonds and the other is silver. So really, really pretty and again it's adjustable so you can make it fit on any finger making it tighter or um, looser. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Super excited about this one. This one I'm definitely gonna keep in my collection as my personal favorite. Again, I'm gonna use a thermo protector. I don't wanna keep doing too many heat passes on my hair and it's not trained. So I'm not gonna go in and silk it out anymore. I think it needs to be freshly washed because my press is old, but I kind of liked it and I didn't want to re uh, straighten my hair or rewash my hair because I know my hair is thin and I wanted to make sure you couldn't see through it. But yeah, be sure to check this one out. I have a direct link. I have all the details, length and density and everything else down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think you like the vibe? Should I do a little bit longer? What's the vibe? Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!